Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are reviewing a pen that I already made a video about it. And this is a senator, which I call it the known model, because I don't really know what is the model, I just know it is a senator pen. So let's take a look uh, and I'll try to make this short because I have already made another video. Uh, it is called Illogical Purchase. Uh, it is a series of videos of services that I made that are not that obvious. And this pen was bought for three euros in the Lisbon flea market. So let's take a look at it. This pen has a very classical shape. It tapers to the both ends and it is all made of metal. Uh, it looks like made of brass. But now what we have here? We have uh, a simple gold-plated uh, medallion here on the top of the cap. Then we have a clip that, that is inserted below and the clip is chrome colored. I'm not sure if this was ever gold plated, but I don't think so. And it and it says here Senator Germany. Then it has these uh, it has some vertical lines uh, texture uh, which had some gold plating that had flaked off in most of the places. There is nothing written on the bottom of the cap nothing written on the, on the barrel and the end of the barrel is another uh, flat medallion which it is chrome silver color now but I don't know if it has been gold colored also so the pen is just like it the clip is very very good very springy it has a nice shape as you can see and when you open the pen, when you open the pen, sorry, you have this dark chocolate brown long section, a semi-hooded nib, that you can see a lot of it. Uh, and it has some, one interesting feature in my opinion. It has this, um, it's not usual to see, the slit, I'll try to focus a little better. The slit on the nib goes all the way down under the, the hood or the section. And it has this kind of fee. I didn't remove it. I, I usually like to have pens like they are. The, the nib was, it is a steel nib. It was gold plated. But now, as you can see, the gold, plated, gold plating has flaked off almost entirely. Then it opens by unscrewing and that it takes two short international cartridge. Okay, I thought I had another one, but I don't. Inside and or a long international cartridge or a long international uh, converter. The, the cap closes by it has these internal like fingers that grip on those little prongs there and it make it closes with no sound but it closes securely enough the overall shape of the pen is really bad it has almost no plating and it has some dings, as you can see here, this one is quite deep, but it is a nice pen and um, I bought it, I did, I know I knew it didn't have any value, but I bought it because I find interesting pens, The there are pens from this, this timeline, which I think it is the 60s or 70s, that had this kind of design, which I like many German pens. I have here two more pens from Germany. 
this one is mostly plastic this one is metal but they are the same type of pens they have the same overall shape as you can see the, the size of the cap is almost exactly the same this is the Aveco VP6S and this is the Pelican F, uh, P476 um, so all of them have these flat tops this one has the Pelican logo, this one has the Decay for, for Caveco logo they have flat ends on the barrel they have all simple clips as you can see, not anything fancy like the clips usually used on these brands all the claps, all the caps are slip fit as you can see and all the nibs are semi hooded nibs okay they are there are some differences this one is more covered by the section this one is a little less but as you can see overall it is the same design and i find this kind of design uh, at the same time a little bit ugly and very very uh, interesting so when i see some of these pens being sold at a low price i almost always go for it because i i, I really find this design some, somehow appealing for me although i don't think it is the most gorgeous one okay so we we'll have we will put these apart and just for size comparison here you have it along with a Lamy Safari and a Parker Centennial Blue Fold. As you can see, it has a very nice size and uh, it is just a much slimmer pen. Again, for the writing experience, the pen is not very light, but it's not heavy. It is made of metal. It is very, very well balanced. As you see, it, it doesn't fall off the hand it's very well here and because it posts quite deeply it stays very securely posted and this is one pen that i can use both posted or unposted and now let's see how the pen writes and here we are with our usual Rodia dot pad. The ink is the Visconti turquoise, and I'll zoom in a little. And the pen, as I told you, is just a senator from. known brand uh, model okay uh, I skipped because here I changed the angle for reaching uh, around the camera uh, as you can see the pen writes really well this is a medium fine line you see a long slit on the knee but you can't have line variation you can't have any very stiff nib when you put ink on the paper you can see it has a very wet very good ink flow and it writes really well one thing I find about most hooded nibs or semi hooded nibs is that they have a um, fairly small uh, sweet spot so they write really well, really smooth, without almost any feedback. But when you rotate it a little, you start feeling some feedback and sometimes also a little scratchy. And if you rotate it too much, it starts skipping. So there is a point there where this pen is really marvelous, but when you rotate it just a little, it doesn't work anymore. So this is a very nice pen, a very nice senator pen, 
um, it writes upside down, but it is scratchy. A very nice senator pen. Uh, I really like it. It is a pen to take maybe on a trip because it takes cartridges and it is easy to use. And if you lose the pen, you won't be losing a lot of money. However, I feel a special attachment to this pen and I don't really want to lose it. So that is it for today. Thank you for passing by our YouTube channel. Please subscribe the channel and if you have any information about the model name of this pen, please let me, let me know on the comments below. See you next time. Bye.